Chica for corners for trio. Inseparable change of formation, fade. Performed only for the trio. Composed of 32 counts. 4 rounds, 8 counts each. First round, 8 counts, is performed as regular Chica for corners. Second round, 8 counts. At counts 5, 6, the second dancer takes a big step to the right backward diagonal. The lead, having noticed that, makes the same move. This creates a line. The lead of the new formation is the second dancer, because her position is the most convenient for others to observe. Now it's the lead who decides whether the group will finish, fade or complete the regular chick of corners. Third round, 8 counts. At counts 1, 2, the, the third dancer takes a big step to the right front diagonal, going forward and thereby forming a position for a regular fade. Then we finish Chick of O'Connors. Fourth round, 8 counts. The first and the second dancers, on counts 1 and 2, make big step to the right front diagonal, forming a line. At 5-6 counts, the third dancer returns to her position by taking a big step in the right backward diagonal. Formation returned to the initial position. Now the fade is closed. Sananda crossfade, inseparable change of formation of two parts, 16 counts each, and the finishing part. Part 1. The lead places left arm in a horizontal position, at the same time turning the body to the left. This is the cue to fade. After that we finish Sananda backwards. At 7-8 counts, right, ha right hand goes down and we finish Sananda to the right side. Part 2. At count 7-8, the left hand goes forward and the right hand goes backwards. Now hands are disclosed. While we keep performing Sananda forward for 8 counts, the first and the second dancers go backwards, while the third one comes forward, as in the regular fade for 3. At count 7-8, the right arm is lowered to the right side as we turn to the audience. Then we finish Sananda. We finish this fade returning to initial position using a rabbit on 8 counts, turning at last 4. Now the fade is closed. Checked fade with shoulder shimmy for trio. Inseparable change of 32 counts divided into four parts. Part 1. We cue this move by performing shoulder shimmy on 8 counts with turn on last 4. After the turn or 1.5 turn, the leader stops with right shoulder back. The first and second dancers start moving backwards, continuing doing shoulder shimmy as they go, while the third dancer goes forward. Then we turn at last four counts. Part 2. After the turn, movement continues in the opposite direction. 
The first and second dancers go forward and third dancer goes backwards. Part 3. The first and second dancers go with their backs to each other, changing positions. The third dancer performs shoulder shimmy in position, finishing the turn with her back to the viewer. Part 4. The first and second dancers return to their positions, facing each other as they go. The third dancer performs shoulder shimmy with her back to the audience and comes back to her initial position while turning. Mixer, do it formation. The cue to this move is basically the absence of the cue. It happens when the lead turns her face to the partner on Egyptian half turn without cueing this turn. Each dancer continues to do Egyptian half turn on her own side until the lead facing the partner gives cue to spins with both her hands in the horizontal position. Egyptian is finished and followed by two clockwise spins with changing positions. Zori turn, slow move, begins with both hands in a horizontal position. The cue happens when hands go up, then down along the body to the hip level and finally return back to the horizontal position. Then comes the turn over the right shoulder accompanied by swinging of the arm and passing it in a semicircle from head to hips while turning. Yeah. <laughs>